Hello, I'm Dean Rogers. I'm one of the inventors of the Quick Snap Sprinkler. A lot of customers ask, what's the best way to set the rotation? In other words, the, the, the direction that the, the water turns from left to right and back again. And that uh, rotation setting is done with this center arrow slot. And then there are degree markings. The smallest setting is uh, 30 degrees. Uh, you can go to 45, then you can go to 90, you can go to 180, you can go to 270, and as far as 360. The water will shoot out in the direction of this arrow, so don't stand in front of that arrow. You can see the nozzle retention screw underneath the arrow. And the thing, the most important thing to remember about installing these is that that left position cannot be changed. The sprinkler must start and begin on the left. Now, as you can see, it only takes a little finger pressure to turn that turret, and it will only go in one direction at a time. Because what's happening is, when it gets to the end of the rotation, the gears shift. There's a little V-shaped stainless steel spring in there, and then it gets to the end of that rotation, you hear a clunk, it's changing gears. Now it goes back the other direction. And as I said, it can only go one direction at a time. So, uh, in order to change the setting, the basic rule is to change the setting right, turn the turret all the way to the right, then change the setting, okay? Now I can change the setting further, and it's about 180, so I've gotta go back to the left to re-engage the gears, and it will go now to about 180, change gears, and I've got to take it back. Okay, so um, that's basically all it takes. Now, if you, let's say you've, you've put it in the ground, you've, you've got it lined up on the left side of your driveway or your lawn or your flower bed, and that's basically where it is. Fill the hole only halfway with dirt so that you can uh, shift it in the hole after you turn on the water. So with only half of dirt, you can still get a little bit. You know, 40 feet away, that can make a five or six foot difference. So to get it precise, get it close, fill the hole halfway with dirt, then turn on the water, see where it actually goes, and then it'll, it'll start spinning. Well, okay, well, then just spin it all the way right, and then spin it all the way left. And that way you can keep seeing exactly where that water is spraying too. So uh, let's, so the, really the best setting is to have it all the way to the left while you're putting it in the ground because that way you can, you can just keep checking, where's my left, where's my left, and then shift it in the hole to get it exactly where you want it. Then pack in the dirt, then it's time to change the right setting. Remember the general rule is if you want to change the setting to the right, turn the turret all the way to the right, insert the key, Turn it as far as you want it to go. You've just got to go back to the left to re-engage the gears. And now you can see, did it go where I wanted to on the right? Uh-oh, it went a little bit too far. So I need to turn it back to the left a little bit. General rule, turn it to the right to adjust right. Turn it to the left to adjust back left. Now we're not changing the left setting. We are just changing the right setting to make it go not so far. All right, so now it doesn't go as far to the right as it did. So turn to the right to adjust right, have it all the way to the left to adjust left. You can't change this position. Now, what if you wanted to just, you out in the middle of the yard and you wanted to go a f just a 360 non-stop. That's easy, just turn, turn the turret to the right, turn the key, the center arrow as far as it'll go to the right. That's it. Now it will go, you got to re-engage the right gears back to the start. Now it will go continuously to the right and never stop until <laughs> you want to change that again. It will never go left. Now, in order to change it, it's just a matter of putting the key in and uh, turning it back to the left where you want it to, to stop again. If anybody's got any questions, just give me a call.